My name is Stephen May. I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist, which is just a fancy way of saying that I'm a heart doctor or a cardiologist that has specialized training in treating patients that have heart rhythm disorders that are due to the electrical problems in the heart. Essentially, I'm a heart electrician. I've been board certified in cardiology and cardiac electrophysiology and practicing here in San Antonio for the last 10 years. And since 2017, I've served as the chief of cardiac electrophysiology and the medical director of cardiac electrophysiology for the Baptist Health Care System. I treat patients that have heart rhythm disorders or arrhythmias. These are electrical problems in the heart that make the heart beat too fast or too slow or irregular. Some common terms you may have heard include things like atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter, supraventricular tachycardia, also called SVT. I treat patients that have too slow of heart rates, which are usually treated with pacemakers, and we treat patients that have life-threatening, dangerously fast heart rates, uh, things like ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation, and we use tools like implantable cardiac defibrillators, or ICDs, for those. Heart rhythm disorders can be complex problems, and the treatment options are just as confusing, not just for patients, but for many doctors. When I see patients, my first job and my main priority is just to help them understand what is going on with their heart. Why is it happening and, and what's happening inside the heart? Then we talk about the treatment options and go through all of them, one by one, going through the pros and cons. I really hope and try to educate the patients as well as I can so that they feel comfortable making decisions for themselves with my guidance and it's not me telling them what they should do. I enjoy treating patients with all types of heart rhythm disorders and it can be very rewarding to treat patients with pacemakers and defibrillators to hopefully fix patients that have extra pathways in their heart with supraventricular tachycardias. But what really has me uh, excited and, and passionate about electrophysiology practice right now is what we can do for patients with atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is the most common heart rhythm disorder in adults. It affects millions of Americans and is associated with an increased risk of stroke, heart failure, and death. For decades, all we had to treat these patients with were medications like blood thinners, uh, medicines to slow their heart rate down, or antiarrhythmic drugs, most of which were lifelong therapies and came with significant side effects and sometimes problems to quality of life. Fortunately, we have lots of great new options, including in particular catheter ablation, which is a catheter-based procedure where we go into the heart and we find the areas that are responsible for AFib and we zap those or wall off those areas, making it much harder for the heart to go out of rhythm and hopefully helping patients keep their heart rhythm uh, normal. Additionally, for patients that have struggled with blood thinners, we now have options including things like occluding the left atrial appendage, which is where most of the blood clots form, we can seal that area off and lower the patient's risk of stroke without the need for long-term blood thinners. Ultimately, it's a great time to be working with atrial fibrillation because there's now so many things we can do that can help patients that have been suffering with this chronic illness and help them get their rhythm and their lives back in control.